Hey guys, welcome back for 31 days of Halloween. Today, as you can see, we are doing the Mad Hatter. If you want to see how we created this look, make sure you stay tuned. So we're going to start out with Mayron's Basics uh, Water Activated Body Paint and Mayron's Clown Paint. Going in with that orange color and I'm creating my brows. I didn't put the white down first because I don't have brows and I need to be able to shape them as needed. So I went about my makeup routine as I regularly would. So I went through, put on my brows, cleaned them up with a makeup wipe. I used the clown paint to put down a white base for my eyeshadows to make them pop a little bit better. When I went to go do the Mad Hatter look, I wanted to give it a little bit more of a dramatic look, maybe even more of a drag look um, when I wanted to create this look. I didn't want it to look like the regular Mad Hatter or everything else I'd seen. The palette we're going to be focusing on and using is the James, James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist palette. This will be the only palette that I'm reaching for during this look. Now in creating these eye looks, I wanted to go ahead and do a really dramatic uh, semi-cut crease. So I went in with that base blue, I deepened it up a little bit, um, and then I'm going to use a wipe to clear off that clown white paint and that blue, because that clown white paint is really thick, um, and once you set it, it really, really sticks. So make sure you're using something, don't irritate your eye either. This stuff takes a little muscle to get off. Now whenever you do a semi-cut crease, you can't have any harsh edges when you know you're going to be blending in specific spots. So that's why I went in on the back end of that semi-cut crease and blended a little bit with that brush when I first put down the clown paint to make that edge a little bit softer. Now I'm just going in with a flat concealer brush and adding that white back in so that when I, put a, I set that, you can see the cut crease. And then I'll be able to go in and blend that back in with that blue and we'll be able to deepen it to give that eye some of that dimension that we're looking for. Now we're going to go on with Mayron's Setting Powder and Natural. I'm just using a fluffy brush to go in and set that really, really well. Um, I use this setting powder for any of my special effects stuff that I get specifically from Mayron because I want to make sure that I use their setting powder for their products um, to make sure it is all cohesive and works really well together. Blending, deepening, more blending and deepening, packing on. You guys know the drill. Forever adding dimension and pigment to our looks. Here we are just going over to the next eye and doing the exact same thing. We're going to pack on all that color. We're going to blend it out. We're going to clean it up with a wipe and put in um, the clown white paint to cut the crease. The only thing is my camera cuts out, um, I believe, right when we're cleaning up the eye. And then you don't see me finish that eye. Um, so, just a fair warning. But you guys saw all the steps for the first eye. We're doing the exact same thing on the second eye, just a different color. Here I'm just going with one of the smaller detail brushes, the same one I used on my eye, just to go in and pack on that white. I really wanted to have that opaqueness of the white, um, but going in with that clown paint and just putting on and dabbing on and blending out as I go and moving around my face and doing so. I'm later going to go on with a bigger, fluffier brush dish to make sure every the base is real even um, and we don't have any blotchy spots or anything that's more pigmented and the other ones look lighter and not as... Um, as opaque. Um, we want everything to look real seamless, real even on the face. Um, so I started with this brush to move it around small so I'm not using too much product all over my face. Like I said, this stuff is really thick. A little goes a long way. You don't need a lot. You don't need to pull out chunks because this stuff is thick and like put it all over your face. Dab it in, move it around your face little by little. So I started with a small brush to work little, to move it big, if that makes sense at all. If 
I could tell you the level of tired my arm was at this point, you die. <laughs> I had to take a break for half a second and get back to it. If you aren't familiar with the Mayron Clown Paint and their setting powder, um, it's really opaque, goes on really easily, blends out really easily. Their setting powder really makes, uh, you just need a lot going on with a big puff brush and just really throw it on there and then brush all the excess off. Um, but it really makes it easy to blend colors, really makes everything bold, um, it makes it really stick out. But I was really easy, able to really blend over everything, clean everything up easily. Um, I'm really loving my run's products. I have um, a special effects kit and is basically made up of Mayron. So I highly recommend these products. Make sure you check them out. And they're really affordable um, and they have different sizes depending on what you're doing. If you're using it personally, if you're using it to do clients, or if you're really doing uh, special effects and Halloween stuff all, all the time. Like we're talking year round, weekly, daily, whatever it may be. They've got bigger packages as well. And you can get them all over the place. Mayron has them. Obviously, uh, Amazon carries them and, and whatnot. And I know sometimes you get some of their products in the spirit Halloween stores at this time of year. So make sure you're looking around and shop for them because I use them for a lot of my stuff and absolutely, absolutely love them. This is where I'm going on with another brush just to make sure everything is even and flawless. Nothing's too dark or light in any spots. We just want that base really even. Just like you would your foundation, you want it even. All depending on the character that you're creating or what look you're going for. Here I am just going in with a big fluffy brush and putting on that setting powder. Do not um, be light with this. Put on a lot. This clown paint is thick. You want it to set. You don't want it to move. Throw a lot on there. Doesn't matter how much. And then you brush off the extra as you go and you can still work everything up really well. Just going back in to finish up those eyes, we're going to do the colors under the eyes, which is pretty much opposite of everything on the face when you look at um, the Mad Hatter. Here, I totally forgot I was supposed to do purple on the lid and pink on the bottom, so I ended up doing purple on the bottom. Now that you can really see the difference because I had to put purple into the top of my eye to deepen it. So there's that. <laughs> um, and I'm, then I decided He's got some pink in his cheeks, but instead of just doing his, he really just had pink just to kind of create some depth in his cheeks. Um, I wanted to really contour the face up. I didn't want a regular contour. I wanted a dramatic drag contour. So I really contoured this up. It's colors from the James Charles palette. Um, I went in with a light pink and the hot pink shades, and then I cleaned up under the contour to make it real crisp. But then I fanned it down over where my dimples were. Here we are going in with Lime Crime's Flamingo. Um, again, going for that drag feel. We made the lips really big. And we're talking really big. At the end when I looked at it, I was like, eh, it's kind of too big. But that's okay. Because once it was all together, the hair, the hat, the clothes, I felt like it looked really good. And I was really, really excited about this look. little face check before we do the whole look and there you have it the Mad Hatter I have to say I really enjoyed this look and the way it came out if I could have big orange crimpy curly hair like this all the time I was in love with that wig this wig is actually um, yarn my mom made it for me last year and we never got to this look I loved it anyways thanks so much for hanging out with me guys make sure you subscribe so you can see the rest of my tutorials for the 31 days of Halloween and I'll see you in my next video bye